We all have been there, the moment when you majorly screw up. Well, failures are inevitable, unless you are playing it extremely safe in life, which some say it's a failure in itself. But what if in every fumble, flop and screw up were hidden valuable lesson through which you could build and boost your self-confidence? Well, if you want to know how to extract those valuable lessons, then stay with me because in this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that. Hey, welcome back to my confidence series. This is Thomas from okaysnoenough.com with the confidence tip number 49. Find valuable lessons in trivial fails. When things don't go as planned in life, it's easy to beat ourselves up. We obsess over what we should have done differently and our confidence take a nosedive. But what if we saw it as an invaluable opportunity to learn? Because the most valuable lessons in life, the most useful knowledge comes from not the successes, but from falling short. And as the saying goes, the best lessons are not taught, they are learned. And so here are the three mindset shifts that will help you extract the best value from your fumbles, failures, and screw-ups. Number one, get curious, not furious. You see, when you make a mistake, when you miss the mark, avoid the knee-jerk reaction of just frustration and instead adopt the mindset where you ask yourself, what can I learn here? Why did it go wrong? How did I contribute to this? Was it my mistake? Reflect on what went wrong and why. Study your mistakes with curiosity and try to find the root cause for why that happened and whether you even played any role and whether this is something you can learn from and prepare for in the future. Number two, have compassion, not condemnation. Don't beat yourself up or dwell on what you could have or should have done differently because this self-criticism really erodes your confidence. But rather, talk to yourself with some gentle understanding that you would have for a friend if they were in a similar situation. You see, failure happens to everybody. So don't let it define your self-worth. And number three, probe your mistakes to pinpoint specific takeaways you can apply next time. Could you have prepared differently? Could you have prepared more? Did you need more practice under pressure or in a similar situation? Or maybe you should have gotten help sooner or from somebody who is way ahead of you and could actually support you in that. Find the golden nuggets of wisdom in that situation because then that mistake, the flop, the screw up becomes incredibly valuable. And actually, let me give you a personal example of how I use those principles to learn from my own mistakes. This is actually the second time I'm recording this video because when I recorded the first time and several other videos, after about three hours of recording, I realized that the audio was corrupted. There was uh, extremely bad sound and all the footage that I recorded was absolutely useless. I was just so tempted to get frustrated and, and angry about this. But actually this video itself reminded me to calm down, hold myself back and ask myself, okay, what can I learn here? Because if I don't learn anything from this mistake, then that was truly wasted time. But if I learn something useful and valuable, then maybe all this was worth it. And I actually realized that it's important to check all my equipment and the setting and do a little trial recording before I start a long recording session. Otherwise, if there, something is not working, I will not know and the whole footage could be hours of recording goes for nothing. However, I've had my YouTube channel now for several years and let me tell you, I have learned a lot of mistakes throughout the years along the way of me recording and publishing all those videos on my channel, which is now more than 100. 
Had I not learned anything, I would probably be making the same mistakes over and over and over again. And maybe you wouldn't be here, you wouldn't have found me because I wouldn't know how to record it and uh, post videos and, and optimize it and so on and so forth. So that particular failure and all the failures on my journey have become valuable lessons that allowed me to get here today. And so I hope that maybe because of this video, you will start seeing your mistakes as valuable lessons on your journey that are allowing you to get better rather than just being frustrated and think less of yourself and losing confidence along the way. And so next time you screw up, extract all the values, all the learning from that mistake. Find the lessons and level up your skills and self-confidence for next time. You've got this. All right, and so to wrap this up, embrace your failures as your teacher and you will be amazed how fast you will grow. I hope this was valuable. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I uh, always love reading your messages. Tell me what you liked, what you found useful or maybe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.